if you haven't got your own site guide with you or your wiring regulations there's nothing worse being on a job and you take a reading and obviously um, you're not sure whether it's a good reading or a bad reading and uh, the van's parked probably half a mile away and it's going to take you ages to get there so using this formula is dead simple and just to clarify before we begin there's a few little things i just need to explain and um the first of them is uh, a little thing called C min, and some of you might have come across it before. But C min, um, it's a correction factor really, and it's it's the minimum voltage factor to take account of voltage variations depending on the time and place, changing of transformer taps, and other considerations. Um, there's another one which is IA, and that is the current in amperes causing the automatic operation of the disconnecting device. In other words, the circuit breaker or RCBO, and within the, a specified time. And a lot of this information, obviously, you'll find in the, the wiring regulations, and it can be quite confusing. And what I'm going to do today in the, in the example I'm going to use is, is from table 41.3. All right, guys, so let's get straight into it. So um, first off, I'm going to start the, um, the formula off. And what we can see here is UO uh, times C min divided by IA. And that is the formula that you need to know. Uh, you don't have to memorize it, but if you write it down somewhere, it'd be handy. UO is your line to earth um, reading, which is 230 volts in this country. We'll get to that in a minute. C min is obviously the correction factor I've just mentioned, which is 0 0.95. And when we go and have a look at um, the next bit, the IA, it's BS60898 or 61009 that we're concerning ourselves with. So that's your circuit breakers or miniature circuit breakers and your RCBOs. And what it is that we need to find out is the actual fault current that is required to trip. Now, normally you would have to look in your time current curves, which are at the back of BS7671, but we can actually work that out. And I'm going to show you how we do. We're going to use the 32 amp circuit breaker, 60898. Now, what I'm writing on the screen here is 5 times 32. And if you see under B type, it says 5IN. And all that means is that you times it by 5 the size of the fuse. And it gives you 160. And 160 is the amount of amps that is required to blow that 32 amp fuse in the required time uh, between 0.1 and 5 seconds. So they, then it would comply. Um, but we can use that now in the next part of the formula. So let's put this into, into something that you can understand and break it right down. So as we've said, we've got UO, which is 230, the nominal voltage line to earth, and we're timesing it by C min, and that's 0 0.95. It's a fixed uh, reference, and you're dividing the whole thing by 160. So if we do the top line first, that equals 218.5 divided by 160. And if you do the maths on that, it comes out at 1.365 and that's in ohms, okay? And that's important because if you look in the regs under the maximum um, calculated resistance that you're allowed on the table 41.3, uh, it's actually 1.37 that you'll find in there. And just to summarize, this is what we've got on the screen now. So 1.365 ohms is 100% value. Like I said, that they're in uh, BS7671 2018. To get the 80% values that are in the on-site guide, you just times the whole thing by 0.8. 1.0925 ohms. In the on-site guide, you'll find a value of 1.1 ohms, which is near enough. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like the video and hit that subscribe button.